It's a beautiful rainy morning out here on the homestead and we have a fun video for you guys today. Today is actually a review video of a fun new piece of equipment we have. It's a Roku mini drone. The company sent it to us and said, go ahead, give it a try. See if you like it, get some aerial footage of your land and it's been pretty fun so far for the boys and also just to get kind of the lay of the land, where we're at right now, and then of course as time goes on, where we end up. So, a oh, look who I came across here. Hi husband. Hey wife. Jag's definitely been taking the lead, I suppose you'd say, on this project because He's very excited. Yeah, it's every boy's dream to get a drone. Yeah, and the boys have been loving it too. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna give him a few minutes just to talk to you a little bit about the setup and what it does, and then we'll get out there flying. All right, friends, this is the Ruko U11 Mini. It comes with a pretty sweet case. Everything fits in here, the controller, the drone, instructions, backup batteries. So this thing is pretty sweet. It's so small that you don't need an FFA license to fly it and it's quick and easy, folds out, got a camera cover, pop the battery in the back, we're gonna be moving from here. So the controller's pretty cool, uh, it's got a, a cool holding portion for your phone. You actually connect your phone to it. The app is very easy. Uh, it's got the entire flight manual on the app. So if you're flying and, and need to reference something, you can. Let me get everything all connected and we'll get going. That's fun. And the beeping just means it's, it's ready. It's trying to connect. Oh, okay. And we're connected. So you're on the app now. Yep. So the, the drone has three flight modes, cinematic, normal, and sport. And it's got some pretty cool features. There's a GPS follow, an image follow, which both of those mean it will a GPS follow, whoops, GPS follow and an image follow. So the GPS follow, if I, if I click on that, it'll follow the GPS of my phone. So it'll just, it'll just follow me around as I carry the remote. Or I can select image follow and like select one of the boys and as they run around the land, the drone will follow them. There's also a point of interest, which means if we want to do like a, a cool circular motion around the portal potty up on the hill. If I click that, it'll keep the drone the exact height and distance from that image and do a cool sweeping circle around it. And there's also, uh, you can set up a route and the drone will just fly the route and film for you. And then you can do some like quick gestures, which are some hand signals that when you do it, it'll take a picture or record a video. That's pretty cool. And so we're gonna start off in cinematic mode. And okay. to get the motors running, you just pull both toggles down towards the middle. Motors running and we're flying. Where'd it go? There it is. Pretty futuristic. I know Jag's having fun. Okay, so here's a cool shot of our front porch area. I'm about to talk about some of the things I mentioned earlier in the video, the point of interest and the GPS follow. But first, there's a there's a cool point of interest loop right there showing our garden. I think you get, yep, a little shot of my bow range over there in the corner. And then it comes around to a new project that we'll be talking about soon in an upcoming video right there behind the basketball hoop and back around to my wife's garden. We're getting pretty far on the trenching for the wall there. 
So here I'm setting up the GPS follow system. So this is actually the first time I'd ever used it. And I walk around with one hand on the remote just so you can you can see that I'm not touching any controls. I, I, I hold it out, hold my hands out, give a wave. There's another shot of the, the project behind the goal. If you want to take any guesses of what we're going to put there. And then I've had some had some issues with my truck. You can see it right there with the bed off. So picking up a part today to get that all fixed up. And there we are, waving to you again. This GPS feature, I'm, I'm pretty excited to, to, to use this. So I'm thinking one of the next few projects that I'm doing around the land, I might, I might try to set this up and get some cool footage of it. And <clears throat> I'm just walking around some more. I'm about to walk by our flagpole right there. It was still pretty early in the morning. I hadn't got the flag up yet. But excited to get old glory flying above the land. And I have a cool project for around that flagpole using the, the sun and the shadow. And I want to build a cool artistic compass around it and stuff. There's a big pile over there on the right next to that toolbox of some mesquite that got pulled out when we flattened our land that I want to get mulched up. And here's back to the porch. I just installed that flagstone path to the garden right there for my wife. So she's all excited to not have to walk through the dirt to get to the garden area anymore. But that's it. Hope you enjoy. One other feature this drone has, my son's showing you now, is an auto home feature. So you can click a button and it'll fly back to you and land. Okay, just a few cons on the drone is there's no actual gimbal on the camera. So the, the flight footage isn't the most stable, but if you're flying in cinematic mode, it comes out pretty good. And then it does come with two batteries, but you've only got about half an hour of flight time on each battery. And those were the only cons I really found. Aside from that, it's an amazing drone. So there you have it. The Ruko U11 Mini drone. Mm -hmm. We've been really enjoying it. It's been fun. So if anyone's interested in that, we'll put the links in the description below. And we hope you enjoyed the footage of where we're at, our humble beginnings. And we will see you next week. See you next week. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I always forget to say that. Yep. This is so, I'm like looking on my camera of the camera looking at us. I'm confused, but it's cool. <laughs>